Swipe Up, episode 219. It's the podcast where I share my unfiltered thoughts on the latest news and entertainment updates. The first story is all about adults who want to be children, uh, which is a trend in my generation that I kind of, I don't know, man. I don't really, I'm not into it. I'm not a I'm not an adult who is into toys. I wish I could be. It seems like fun to be in arrested development and to have a wife who is your mom and buy toys and just never have to be an adult, but I had to grow up very early in life and uh I don't know, toys, I think I grew out of toys. And having fun as a child a long time ago. It just, you know, in my 20s, I partied as a kid who was in their 20s, right? And then in my 30s, I kind of felt like it was time for me to grow up. So I started smoking weed and uh, I bought, I got a house, got a mortgage, had a 401k. I was doing all of the adult things. And then I had a midlife crisis and uh, in my, in my, mid 30s and decided to give it all up to pursue podcasting and art and somehow I've been able to survive but in these days you know even though while in Denver I got into comic books for a little bit tried to get into comic books which you know I never really was into as a kid uh the closest thing to comic books was Mad Magazine that I got I loved Mad Magazine but I never felt Many groups in life, I've never really felt welcome. And the comic book group was one of those groups that felt like if you didn't know everything, you were treated as like an outcast, looked down upon. And even the first uh, time going to get comic books in Denver with my roommate in Denver, we were going to review them for an episode on our podcast. And uh, we went into a comic shop and we're not tr- we're not treated as welcome people. Uh, we were not welcome at whatsoever. We didn't know what we were like. We had no idea. We just wanted to browse and see what they had. And this like if you didn't know exactly what you were there for, then you did not belong. Uh, thankfully, we went to a, a much better comic book store, Mile High Comics in Denver, the largest comic book store in the world, an amazing place. Uh, that has everything and they allow you to just browse and look around and see what uh you know see what uh inspires you to read so this article is all about how the toy industry has seen massive growth growth in adults people 12 and older getting into toys the pandemic was a huge boost in that as well uh they say that like one in four right is like Yeah, one in four toy sales is to an adult, right? So 25% of all toy sales are to adults. Uh, It's been a $9 billion toy, uh, the sales annually they get. Uh, So obviously adults have more money to spend on themselves so they spend it on themselves buying themselves toys there's been a rise in products uh from franchises from the 70s and 80s because of course that is another thing that is very another trend in people my they like people that don't want to grow up that are in their 30s and 40s or 50s of course are going to be that's why that's why disney bought star wars that's why disney bought marvel because all of these franchises, all of these IPs are the things that the that people my age grew up on and are obsessed with. It is their entire identity. It is their entire personality to be obsessed with one of these pop culture IPs. And the toy manufacturers and the toy industry is, uh, you know, taking advantage of that. Selling, repackaging their nostalgia, selling it back to them. And it's, uh, I don't know. I don't like the trend. I do not like the trend. One, the trend of adults acting like children is disgusting in a lot of ways. Whether it's adults throwing temper tantrums in public 
as if they are a spoiled child that we saw all through the pandemic, which was just one of the most disgusting behaviors of a grown adult you could see. To see somebody throwing a tantrum because they didn't get their way uh, is disgusting to me. People that are obsessed with toys as an adult is kind of like, I don't know. It just, it, 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 it feels sad that these people are stuck in a childhood fixation in some way. And I get that it's a lot of fun for them. I think just for me, life has been so not fun, you know, cause I had to grow. I didn't, I didn't get the opportunity to pretend to be a child while I was a child a lot of the times. So like to see people act immature and to be, and then they usually have wives that are basically their moms. It's just, it's just mind blowing that that is like so trendy in our culture, right? Which in some ways I feel like I agree on some level with the conservative nature that a lot of adults are kind of soft I don't, I think that, I mean, the people acting like toddlers, spoiled toddlers in public are all the conservative people that label themselves as alpha men, right? All these alpha people out there acting like spoiled brats. But there's definitely, on the surface, when you look at it, the obsession with toys, the obsession with these these things that are made for children that are still, and I think part of that is just these things are were engineered to be addictive and that people grew up never being able to kick their addiction right or maybe i think i'm sure a lot of them grew up maybe like me who weren't able to have childhood so now as an adult they can afford to live this life maybe if i had a lot of expendable income i would invest in play toys but i don't have time to be playing like even video games at a certain point in my 30s i was using my xbox to play netflix and i had to have an xbox subscription to be able to use netflix which didn't make any sense so i got rid of my xbox and not until like a couple years ago where i found out that i could get uh call of duty on my cell phone and play that and i got a little controller for it which one of my favorite games was that type of first person shooter like um, Call of Duty or uh, Medal of Honor was one of those games that I enjoyed playing. And so the closest I get to being able to relate to these kid dolts as this article uh, labels them as is the fact that I still play a video game now and then. I play the, the Royal, um, Royal Rumble, not Royal Rumble. What is it called? It's, uh, God. It's the thing where I, you're on an island and it contracts. And I, it's, there's a movie based on the name of that, which is, uh, I don't know. But I'm sure people know what I'm saying. I, my brain is not, uh, like, I go on these tangents and my brain is not equipped to, to, uh, to give me the information i need but that's the closest thing i get i don't i'm not into disneyland have zero idea i have friends that are obsessed with disneyland i have friends that are obsessed with star wars marvel i look down on all of them i think it's 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 childish i don't get it i for me i don't get any of it right only recently, I mean, in addition to playing Call of Duty, I guess getting back into like Christmas movies this time of year is kind of the closest thing where I'm like, oh, that nostalgia of enjoying Christmas. So I kind of on some level, but not like it's not it's like so many people like it's their identity. Like they are a Star Wars fan, right? Like everything is themed around Star Wars in their life. Or Harry Potter is, you know, which is probably a generation uh, after mine, you know, even though I, you know, I have friends my age that are super into Harry Potter too, right? It, it becomes like their personality, their identity to just be obsessed with this thing. 
And despite enjoying some of those things, I like the Harry Potter franchise. I think it's one of the best franchises. I think it's better than the Star Wars franchise. I enjoy some of the Star Wars movies. I think, in general, they're pretty bad. They they have a their consistency is pretty horrible. There's some really bad movies in that franchise. Marvel's okay, you know, they're fun action movies, but I'm kind of tired of, I mean, the fact that the movie industry has been taken over by the same thing that the toy industry, I'm sure, right? Like, just as these toy manufacturers are making products for adults based on IP from the 70s and 80s, Movie theaters and franchises and studios are pumping out movies that are based on IP from the same eras, right? Star Wars from the 70s, Marvel from the 70s and eight, like everything from people's childhoods. These companies are just DC. All these things are just like, let's just regurgitate all of these things because there's nostalgia tied to it. And there's a trend in adults where they don't want to grow up. Right. This 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 uh, Peter Pan syndrome or whatever. It's crazy. It, it's definitely crazy. Um, and this article goes on to talk about how during the pandemic there was a decline. Uh, and then, of course, inflation was hurting them, but they increased prices and it, that was able to level out uh, for for them. And it's just it's just it just goes on to say that you know how big how big of a chunk 25 percent of the the toy industry is for adults you know and there's some things like obviously there's a huge surge during the pandemic there was a huge surge in board games and puzzles and play sets and all of these things which i can understand if you know a lot of people stuck at home wanting to fill their time with something Maybe they've never had to fill their time as an adult because they've spent their life working and the only things they remembered when they were home and had time to play around were toys. So I'm sure people got like Lego sets and action figures and board games is, you know, an industry that's huge. Well, outside of just children's board games so that I kind of understand, you know, that's a communal thing people get together have board game nights have game nights or whatever play games i remember doing that stuff but those weren't child games you know i mean like i guess you could you know trivial pursuit you, you could play as a kid but you know as far as the other stuff like batman like people's identity is batman they just own Batman stuff in a similar way with, you know, growing up. A lot of people's identity was Nightmare Before Christmas. It's it's just weird to. I've never understood being a fan of something that much to where it encompasses your entire life. It, it feels cultish. It feels very similar to religions in a lot of ways, like people are just devout fans of a thing and will defend it i mean we saw that with dc movies we saw that with the snyder verse right somebody that i think is not a good storyteller not a good director i do not enjoy the majority of films that Zack snyder makes i don't think they're very good but he has very loud devote fans that will complain so much so loudly online that they'll convince a studio to allow him to redirect a movie that did horribly right and it they they framed it as the like a recut like it was a re-edit the snyder cut but it wasn't a cut it was a re he filmed so much more like it was a re remake a reboot almost of that movie it's just insane it's the that level of like just blind devotion to a thing is is kind of nuts so anyway we just went through the holidays the biggest like capitalist holiday i would say is is christmas right christmas is the day people get around to celebrate the gifts they bought on black friday right they get around with their family to show off the things that were purchased 
right? You're celebrating capitalism in a lot of ways. It's supposed to be about Christianity, but like all Christian holidays, it started as a pagan holiday and they ripped it off, you know? So it, and in Cal and in America, everything's about capitalism. So of course the biggest holiday season is all devoted to capitalism sales shopping how many days left do you have to shop what did you get what did you get let's celebrate what we got let's celebrate the stuff that we spent money on Ooh, i got the batman stuff Ooh, i got the marvel stuff Ooh, i got the dc stuff it's just i don't know it's just it's it's uh it's uh i don't i just can't get it it's some one of those things i just don't understand it's it's like it's one of many moments in life where i feel like i'm living in a different reality than most people new episodes of the ray taylor show come out every single day subscribe on youtube and everywhere our podcasts are found binge the full week over at inspireddisorder.com slash plus buy ray taylor show merch over at inspireddisorder.com have a wonderful day everybody peace Ouch! Today, Today is, is the, the day, day where you, you wake, wake up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.